Okay, so we had a laughs with the actual players, but now it's time to get to serious business because we have Titan right here, who does more of the dirty work at G2, probably crunching through the numbers, seeing what works, what doesn't work. So, for you, what was your biggest challenges preparing for Cyber Series? Realistically, it was kind of getting information on some of the teams. There's rosters like BDS, for example, who haven't played too many games. They've only had the qualifiers for Malta Cyber Series. There's other teams as well, obviously Valor, uh, sorry, Ents now, and then also Team 86 as well. Those teams who have don't have too many VODs on them in terms of like what they've done with their recent lineups. Um, and also because they are sort of coming upcoming teams they potentially change a lot more and there's not so much information you can get compared to for example rivals of ours like wolves where we can have a lot of information on them but realistically it's not too complicated it's just the usual standard procedure check them through see their games and just go from there and so with the kind of eye for detail what are the key takeaways you notice about how the team performs at SI and what kind of lessons did you try to make them learn from SI coming into this and stage one? Probably there's like a separate agenda here for MOLS compared to stage one realistically, which is just A, there's no Brazilian teams here obviously, so I mean just by de facto we're going to win the event, so that's pretty easy. Um, but sort of the general takeaways for stage one will just be kind of like things in terms of improvement overall and just looking into finer details as a team and just making sure that as we go throughout the year we're able to sort of push ourselves to be a bit more uh, maybe flexible, a bit more adaptable, a bit more kind of like on our toes in how we want to uh, proceed just so that when it does come to the majors again for things like Manchester for example we'll be able to actually be a top team competing again with W7M. And okay so a lot of people see you know what the players do they're the ones who kind of execute on the vision of people like the coach or people like you who again do a lot of work in the background so for the kind of layman explain what you kind of do in your day-to-day. -day. The general sort of team in terms of like uh, I guess like our day-to-day -day is generally sort of like maybe a couple hours of sort of like prep talk before or for example maybe like five, six hours worth of practice in terms of scrims, so that's actually playing the game as a team. And then after that, we all have a sort of quick re review or debrief as a team. And then from there, we aim to usually kind of uh, let the guys have their free time in the evenings, do what they need to. Usually most of the guys as well sort of go ahead and actually play the game themselves um, and keep grinding in terms of, for me, as well as Romalio, we kind of just sort of break down what we have. So for me, usually will be crunching numbers, looking at data, sometimes looking at opposition reports, um, gathering other sort of information on the teams that we can maybe also use for ourselves um, and then for Romalio it's reviewing what we have being adaptable with that as well making sure that we are constantly innovating and making sure we are at the forefront of that this event we've swapped roles sort of obviously with him still being in Brazil me being here but generally we're very flexible with how we do things what can we expect from G2 at Cyber Series are there any kind of weird things we can expect any kind of uncommon map picks for example any uncommon strategies any kind of play styles that may surprise us with G2, we always save strats some one way or another. I mean, we have to, otherwise the meme doesn't work. Uh, no, but on uh, giving you a serious answer for once. Um, we, we're coming here with the intention to win the event. We obviously have clear goals in terms of what we can show, what we want to show, and then also like what we want to be able to innovate on. Um, I don't think you'll see absolutely brand new revolutionary stuff, but you certainly won't see things that are just being deliberately hashed out and sort of like hidden to make sure that we as a team don't perform to the top level. Our objective is win this event, do the very best that we can here, um, and then build that and use that as confidence building going into EUL and using this sort of as a warm-up stage for that. So this won't be a repeat of stuff like in your South Bridge? Provided we don't have to play Adrian dropping 30 kills on us in two maps, yeah, no, we'll, we'll be fine, I'm pretty sure. Okay, final question, what is like the easiest team you think you could get like the easiest opponent and the hardest to kind of match your dread in the most hardest opponent probably team 86 no um hardest opponent probably has to be bds they're the new super team on the block but they are brand new in terms of what they are as a team they probably don't have that much in terms of depth of strategy they have been able to obviously practice all the sort of off season whilst the rest of the teams are si or sort of doing their own things um but i think yeah generally still bds obviously the individual caliber of players weakest team they're all the rest of them are all pretty subpar to be honest um, being realistic even those that attended SI but I think yeah I think the rest of the teams are all about on yeah about equal footing in terms of what we'll expect um, I think BDS will be the big game that we want to see up okay that's a lot of info so we'll see exactly how much of it comes through how much of that kind of signature G2 confidence will actually manifest itself at Cyber Series